Welcome to the Paradox Club. This week, we're at the Peel Building, Salford University. Club. We're in the Peel building at the University of Salford, a Victorian building uh, we told you about. Uh, we're the first paranormal team ever to do this building. Uh, I find that a honour a honor to do it. Um, we're in the old theatre, as you can hear probably, and this dates back to the 1860s when the, the building was built. Um, it's um, such a fabulous place to be in. It's a Victorian building, like I said, and the architecture outside, you'll see, it is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm going to walk you around uh, and show you the setup, what we've done, just to let you know, um, and then we're going to go filming. Happy ghost busting. So this is the setup we have. Um, we've covered mostly everything, really. We're going from the spirit box and the speaker for the spirits to come through. We're going through a light sensor at the bottom here. We've also got one further down, we'll show you that. That trips if anything goes past it. We've got the HD infrared um, camcorder there as well, which is recording at the moment. Uh, we've got various objects around here. I've just done some trigger objects in the, in the corner here. Just some old coins and a compass. See if anything moves. Um, going down this way, we've got the the light sensor. I'll just show you when we trip it when we go down here. So it is quite dark in here. So we're going to go past this another light sensor here, which should go off when we break the beam. There you go. So if anything passes among, um, in front of that beam and the one upstairs at the top then uh, that'll trigger off and we we'll, should catch it on camera as well. This is the old piano I was telling you about where the caretaker shuts the lights off uh, behind camera over that way and enters, goes up this way. So he, he shuts the lights off from here and he goes up this way and by the time he got to here he could hear this piano playing behind him. Not like um a tune or anything it was just like a tinkle on the keys but um, like I say he was halfway up the stairs when he heard that and uh, I think he was at the top in one jump really and he don't like coming in here and switching off so this this is the piano this here is the is just to check on the temperature and it's also um, it's also a humidifier as well, so if there's any energy zapped out, this will either go up or down. Uh, the 18.5 at the top is a temperature. So it's also the humidity, it shows the humidity up as well. So if there's any change in that, I will put that nearer to a camera when we, when we go in. If you just want it to follow me. This is a stage area. Um, and if you can see these curtains, this is actually, it's probably about 15, 20 foot curtains. There's a space behind here, obviously for the actors or musicians, what come behind. There is a door there what leads up to a spiral staircase, but we can't get access to that because even the caretakers haven't got the keys, which is here. So there's no keys for that, but that actually goes up into here. I just wish we could have got in there because that'd be fantastic. He said you get covered in dust if you do go in it because nobody seems to go in it anymore so this is the stage we've also there's another grand piano here i think that's a a baby grand piano and this is an actual grand piano 
um, and we've got the another HD infrared uh, night vision um, camcorder there set up as well. Uh, looking at me, we've got beam torches. We've got which is known as a laser grid. I'll just show you over there. So that lights up like that. The near you can either zoom in or zoom out, and you can make it smaller. And what happens if anything passes within that? You'll see. Can you see that? If anything passes, it will break the beam. So that's a good bit of kit to have that. Um, I say you can make it as big as you want or as small as you want. So if anything passes from that, between that, you'll see that. That is what you'll see. Did you take your own life? Yep, that, 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 that. Oh, man. Is that you lighting up the lights at the end of the table? Was that you then lighting the, these lights? Oh, on? oh wow. Figures. Yeah. Well, another one. One shot towards the camera and zipped off to the right. Was that then? Was that you then showing yourself? Thank you. Come back and show yourself again. Chris. 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 Hello, Chris. How are you? Chris. 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 Easy. 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 If you said yes, could you do it? Sergeant. Sergeant. Who's connected to the sergeant? Just walked in. Ooh. He just walked in. Can you show me where you've just walked in, please? We know there's somebody here with us, walking round us because it's slightly colder. Can you tell us your name, please? Sydney. Sydney. Is, that, is that Sydney? Can you touch one of us? The sergeant, is that your first name, Sydney? Salute. 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 I'll salute to a sergeant, yeah. I've not been in the what was he a sergeant in the police force or a sergeant in the army? Is that you who just lit the uh, light up at the end of the table? Did you just light the light up at the end of the table? Can you make these lights light up, please? So, we're now at the lower level, um, which actually is very, very echoey, and it's the old, really old part of the building, this. It's the lower floor. Um, they don't like coming down here. If you look at the walls, it actually got like a prison feel to it. Uh, it feels like a prison, sort of like cell. Not a cell, but like the, the floor of the prison's on the wing, so to me it feels like a prison wing. Uh, the security guards don't like it down here at all. And uh, one of them especially uh, picked up when he's down here, he feels a spirit um, haunts down here, but he said it's uh, not got a good feeling. He said it's um, a bit of a, feels a bit nasty, the spirit. But it is a bit of an eerie place, and I can imagine it in pitch black, it will be really scary, but it does have a, as, has a, a prison feel to it, if you can see. And what, and what we're going to do, we're just going to go round. We've checked with the K2. Um, there's no, no fluctuations on that yet. We're going to do a spirit box call out here. But we've also picked up upstairs um, a Sergeant Sydney. But we've, uh, we've Googled his name and we found a Sydney Sergeant. So maybe that's connected. And this is where the, all the bands, if you look, 
all the bands, brass bands and everything have played here in, from uh, I think it's 1917 to 1964 I think but if you just follow me and we'll go on to this next picture here I'll just show you this that's probably the 50s 40s but if you look at these guys Sar uh, Sydney Sergeant could be one of these he could have been a, a student here or he could have been one of the band players but there's always been a band connected to this so we're going to do a call out with the spirit box and take it from um, whoever's down here you're making people feel very uncomfortable when they're down here why, why are you doing that? Are you angry that they're down here? Why is it you don't like them down here? Can you tell me why? There must be a reason. I'm lost. I'm lost. I heard I'm lost there. Are you lost? Do you want to get out of this building? Whilst we was filming in the auditorium, we decided to keep the camera rolling on top of the grand piano just to see if we could capture something while we was away. We caught nothing till about 40 minutes into the recording and you hear somebody open the door. Um, they also start to whistle and um, set off the trigger sensor. The trigger sensor went off that was on the stairs. Uh, we didn't think we caught anything at the time. It was only upon review later the next day. Uh, I'm not saying it's paranormal, but I know the security guard was on the other side of the building and nobody else was in there other than us.